All right, today we're gonna try to successfully dual boot uh, an Ubuntu laptop with uh, Remix OS. I've done this before, um, basically just following the simple instructions I found in the XDA developer site. But sometimes it's just easier to see it. I did come up a couple of issues when I did on Ubuntu 14 something or another um, that weren't listed in the XDA site. Really simple stuff, CHMOD commands that had to be implemented that weren't listed on the site. Uh, we're going to do it today in a fresh install of the latest and greatest version of Ubuntu 15 something or whatever. Uh, and I've got a 64-bit uh, ISO of Remix OS already installed. So if that's already been extracted and it's sitting on the desktop of the Ubuntu laptop. So with that said, let's get to it and see what we can come up with. Alright, so we got a few things taken care of here and opened up. I'm sure if you're using a Linux laptop, you're already familiar with using the terminal. So I've got my terminal fired up here. Um, I have uh, the ISO that I downloaded from Jide for the 64-bit version of Remix. I've taken the liberty of exploding the contents of that ISO file, and I put it into a Remix Exploded folder right next to it on the desktop. The reason why I did that is we need to next create a folder in the root of our drive and isolate a few of these files and copy them in there. We're going to get to that in a second. Uh, I fired up my command, uh, my terminal and just simple mkdir uh, command and I named the folder remix. I'm um, doing this as super user so it'll be su mkdir remix um, and there's our remix folder I already did that. Uh, however if you will notice I do not have the correct read write attributes in this new folder to copy the contents from the remix exploded folder. So again sudo uh, we'll just say with chmod uh, we use 777 Remix, and this will give us all the read-write attributes that we require, the DRWXRWXRWT. <laughs> uh, and we're gonna verify that LS-AL, and sure enough, Remix now is fully opened up, and we can copy whatever we want into it. So, going back to those files I was referring to before, the files we need to take. The INITRD file, the IMG, uh, we're going to need kernel. We are going to need RAM disk, and we need system IMG. Let's just do a simple control C to copy that, and we're going to go into our new remix folder. There we go. And let's go ahead and paste. Done. That stuff has already been copied in. Uh, actually, no, I'm wrong. It's 2.7 gigs, it's almost done. And that's it. That's, for, that's all we need to do with regards to doing the copies and all that other stuff. Uh, now that we have that done, we're gonna go back to our terminal. All right, I'm gonna all the stuff that I'm typing in and all the commands I'm using. I'll put that down below in the comments. I'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit so it's a little bit clearer. I hope this looks uh, somewhat reasonable when you watch this online. Um, okay, now we have to edit our Grub menu because we need to tell uh, the Grub loader, you know, where this new image is that we want to. You know, leverage. So we're going to type in gk sudo gedit forward slash etc forward slash grub dot d forward slash four zero underscore custom. I want to be, oh, what happened? This program is not currently installed. You can install it by typing sudo apt get install gksu. Okay, cool. apt get install gksu done let it do its thing yes 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 let me be clear about something i did not come up with a solution this is something i simply learned from the xda developer site which is a plethora of information on anything regarding basically anything that powers up i'm simply doing this video though because I, like i said i did come across a few issues here and there that i didn't exactly get you know an easy answer from on that thread but the 99% of everything we're doing here is literally on the XD site, and I'm going to link to that as well. I don't want there to be any confusion here that I came up with this amazing solution. All right, let's go back to my command again. GK sudo gedit, yada, yada, yada. Here we go. Super secret password. All right, there we go. What we need to do at this point is there's a string of text that we need to just basically add to this. We're not replacing this, uh, what's already in there. We're simply adding this string of text to this um, grub.d file. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me grab that data. Okay, so we have the body of text that we require uh, copied into buffer. So let's go ahead and just drop that in there. 
And that is it. You're gonna go ahead and save this and close this. So we just appended this data over. And it's basically letting grub, the grub loader know that we've got options here. We've got the standard um, uh, Ubuntu uh, image that we're gonna work off of, which is what we're working off now, or um, going ahead and uh, you know using a remix. All right, going back to our terminal. We're gonna do a lot of terminal stuff here. Sudo up date grub because we want it to know that we made changes and we want it to see that we made these changes. Okay, that was fast, done. Exit out of the terminal. We're gonna go ahead and we're going to reboot our Unix, uh, Linux laptop. The key to this part now is once this is uh, rebooted, we're gonna hold down shift okay on the keyboard and shift will allow us to edit the uh, to let access the grub menu okay so we have rebooted and by holding down shift as we are basically able to we uh, we kind of beat grub into loading Linux and we're gonna access we have Ubuntu advanced menus for Ubuntu memory tests and then remix OS sorry this thing is zooming in and out but there's really nothing for it to focus on and here we go. We are accessing Remix. So we've got a fully functional version of Remix OS not loading off of a USB 3 drive. Instead it's actually running off the uh, solid state that's installed on this laptop. First time go at this, it does take a while because this is the first time the operating system is even run. But when presented, I'm going to go ahead and just log in with my uh, Android credentials and uh, the next video I'm going to show you how to go ahead and get the Google Play services installed and uh, running.
All right, here we are. First screen, first uh, run it remix. Go ahead, select my language, go to go next. Agree. Set up the preliminary Wi-Fi stuff. And there we go. We are in Remix, and it's running right off the hard drive at this point. Okay, uh, this is fully working. We have access to the webcam. I've tested this before. And then next thing we'll do is we'll set up the uh, Google Play services. Stay tuned.